This is question number four. In part A for three marks, we're asked to find the integral of 5x cubed minus 6x plus 1 with respect to x. So just writing this out, we've got 5x cubed minus 6x plus 1, and we're integrating with respect to x. We need to raise by a power, divide by the new power, and add a constant of integration. So we'll have 5x to the power 4 divided by the new power 4, minus 6x squared, or 6x to the second power, divided by 2, plus x to the power of 1, divided by 1, plus a constant of integration. So tidying this up, we'll have 5 over 4, x to the fourth, minus 3x squared, plus x, plus a constant. So that's part A done. In part B, the first part for two marks asks us to find the integral of 24x to the minus 3 with respect to x. So just writing this out, 24x to the minus 3 dx. Again, we raise by a power and divide by the new power. So we'll have 24x to the minus 2 divided by the new power of minus 2 plus a constant of integration. If we tidy this up, we can see that this could be written as minus 12 x to the minus 2 plus c, or we could write this as minus 12 over x squared plus c. You'll get the marks for either one of these answers. In the second part, the three marks, it says given that the integral from a to infinity of 24x to the minus 3 dx is equal to 3, find the value for positive constant a. OK, what I'm going to do is just rewrite this. I'm going to write that the integral from a to infinity of 24x to the minus 3 dx and I'm going to introduce at this stage t. So what I'm going to say now as the limit of t tends to infinity we will have now the integral from a to t of 24x to the minus 3 dx. We can use our answer to the last part. Now we know that this is equal to 3 so what I'm now going to write is that 3 will be equal to. I'm going to use this particular form. We've got limits, so we don't need c. 3 is going to be equal to minus 12 over x squared. And we have now the value of a and t. So let's go ahead and just write this out. So 3 will be equal to minus 12 over t squared minus minus 12 over a squared. We can see as t tends to positive infinity, this will tend to 0. So 3 will be equal to 0 plus 12 over a squared. Dividing both sides by 3 and multiplying both sides by a squared, a squared is going to be equal to 4. We take the square root a is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. We're told a is greater than 0. Therefore, we have now a is equal to 2. So that's the final part. I've introduced t and then considered what happens when t tends to positive infinity. This fraction will get very, very small and tend to 0. Just consider now minus 12 over 100. That's pretty small. Minus 12 over 1,000 is even smaller. And of course, if we then consider massive numbers, as t gets very large, this is going to tend to zero. So if I put this over now, 1 million, we can see that's going to get incredibly small. Hence, I can write zero. So there we go. Last part of the question and three marks for that part of part B.